Hello there, welcome back to Bottles to Consider. So this is gonna be a quick one today because it's really just an update and something I think you all should be aware of, whether you're looking to buy a specific bottle or you know this might apply to you even with the bottle you have right now. So I reviewed this recently. It's the Hydro Flask Trail Series like lightweight bottle. It's 32 ounces wide mouth and it's become one of my favorites. It's got a lot of great qualities. It's um, leak proof, holds seltzer. I've come to really enjoy the straw lid, which I hadn't anticipated. Um, this was an accessory, by the way, I bought after the fact. It comes with just a regular lid, but we are gonna get to that in a second. And I was really enjoying it. Uh, and then this happened. I don't know if you can see, I'm in a red light, this is unsafe, but I'm really just talking, not looking at my camera. I just uh, opened my uh, straw cap on my Hydro Flask Trail lightweight bottle that I'm really loving in so many ways. And I had just put some fresh seltzer in. It was like a science project, explosion of seltzer all over my windshield, all over my car dashboard. I mean, frankly, that would be like quite dangerous if I had been driving and trying to fumble to open my water. Oof, I'm gonna have to process this. It's gonna make me rethink the uses of this bottle, which whew, is tough. I'm gonna have to test now if I leave the straw open, am I okay? Because in that case, uh, you know, this could still really be my daily, my daily bottle, but wow. So let me just explain a little what happened there in case it wasn't totally clear. I put seltzer in this, I closed the straw lid, and after about 10 or 15 minutes, once I was in my car, I opened the straw lid. And when I did that, water shot out all over my windshield, my dashboard. So that happened. And then a few weeks later, I was flying. And in this bottle, I had flat water. But as after we'd sort of taken off, I opened this straw lid again, water shot out onto the gentleman in front of me. And I felt very bad about that. And the water got like this close to getting all over my computer, which would have been, you know, horrible. So at that point, it's a little, you know, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, etc. At this point I was, or the other way around. But at this point I was like, wait, what other times is this gonna happen? And I kind of retired this water bottle for a little bit. I have gone back to using it, but I'm using it with rules, which is really like annoying. I don't wanna to have to think about my uh, water bottle that much. I know that's like a, maybe a funny thing to hear from someone who's reviewing water bottles on YouTube, but like part of what I want is to put the thought in ahead of time. So then when I'm using the thing, I don't have to think about it. Like, I don't want this to be like a cast iron pan or something that it's like, no, don't do this and do this. And that's kind of what it's becoming with this, which is really a bummer. And also, I wanna be clear, I'm, I'm talking about it like it's the bottle, it's the can. Again, if you buy this bottle, which I think is a great bottle in many ways, it comes with just sort of like a standard lid, like that. And so I'm not the first person to experience this problem with straw lids. If you look around online, you can find that it's happened to lots of people when flying. The seltzer thing I haven't seen stuff about, it's a little bit more of a niche thing, I guess. But really, you know, buyer beware. I think they should make this a little more clear that this is not good for being on planes. You could have, I could have easily ruined my computer and the person in front of mine's computer. And I feel like there was no warning anywhere that this bottle, this, you know, thing isn't great for planes either on the plane or on the bottle. And I feel like someone should be saying this. So yeah, like I said, I still use it cause it's big and it fits in a cup holder and it's insulated and in lots of ways it's leak proof. But I don't love that I have these caveats where it's like if I put seltzer, I have to leave the straw open. And if I have flat water, I can't bring it when I'm flying. That's unfortunate. So in some ways it's kind of like the hunt still continues for me for a bottle that can really fit every purpose, which just might not 
exist. Um, I think that's like what I want, what I want from shoes too. And it's just like not happening. So I think, you know, that's just life, but hopefully this could get improved somehow and be made more reliable. We will see. So yeah, I would love to hear if you have any stories about this or any ways you've sort of solved it or any other circumstances where you've had to deal with it. Um, yeah, I would love to hear. And as always, please, you know, like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll have links to where you can buy this bottle and the Stralid. Listen, I still use the Stralid most of the time, but I just do have these little rules. So, you know, might still be what you want. And as always, the links help me. So if you click on those, I would really, you know, appreciate that. Um, until then, good luck. I hope this was maybe some helpful information for you and I will uh, see you next time. All right. Bye.